So, much shorter vi video than usual this time. That is because we're going with post-commentary on this. Um, as it was suggested in a comment, I figured it was a pretty good idea. So we're going to be doing both of the bonus levels in World 1 here. Um, and most of the reloading of save states is going to be cut out, hence the much shorter playtime. Um, I honestly feel like this is probably going to be better than what the uh, alternative would be, because otherwise you'd be getting about an hour and a half of me reloading states and being bad at the game. But, um, no, you'll actually be seeing pretty shortly that uh, this level here isn't so bad. I'll have gripes about it when it comes to that point, but uh, the one after this is, I think, actually considered the hardest level in the entire game. And so... Having just one clean run of that is actually kind of cool looking. Anyway, the gimmick of this one, obviously, is you kind of carry the rock with you throughout the whole level. There was a level similar to this in the original Yoshi's Island. I think it was in World 4, I don't really remember. Um, and for the most part, this one is not super challenging, though you'll see later on that it kind of becomes that way in certain parts. This first part's easy enough, though, and... Um, You'll be able to tell if I uh, pass something on my first attempt or not. If, if you see the, uh, like, saved slot one or whatever it is um, pop up, obviously, then that means I saved and I didn't reload afterwards, because if I had, then it would have just said load. Um, also, it should be noted that what you're seeing right now is not my first attempt at this level. I went through the entire thing, took about maybe half an hour or so, um, got all the way to the end only to find that I was missing a flower. I had a feeling where it was, so I tried really hard to get it, and it wasn't there, and I was missing like six stars anyway, so I had to redo the whole thing. It was pretty good. Uh, that's partially why I'm worrying so much about having all these red eggs and trying to max out my star count early, because I didn't want that to be a problem. This level isn't in short supply of them by any means, but uh, it is good to have a stock, I guess. I don't know. Don't know why I reloaded there, by the way. Oh yeah, because of this. If you uh, don't grab these coins before making the bridge, then you can't get them. And that's just a death pit, for the record. Get squished face there for a few seconds. It's always good. So, um, I'm probably going to be doing the other four worlds in this same style because I am so through with this game shit that I don't really want to actually commentate them live. I'll. I'll take comments into consideration, though. Like, if there's a lot of people that want to go back to the old style, then I might. It really depends. Um, especially if the one that I cleared out here was, in fact, the worst level, then I don't know. So here's a little stupid part. Um, I zoomed out so that you can see that big vertical chasm to the right. Um, if you put the rock down there, the... Uh, baseball boys will actually uh, hit the rock to the right and knock it down the pit, and then you can't get it, so you have to make sure to kill them first. And you just kind of have to go over here anyway, so... It's a also, could they fit any more shit in this small room? Like, it's not a difficult room, it's just very compact and easy to get hit by shit. Yeah, let's see what we got now. I have a really stupid reload coming up here, just because, um... For some reason, I wanted to see if the rock would activate a cloud. Oh, no, first we gotta do this. This is important. Um, I wanted to see if the rock would activate a cloud in the little section where, uh... Where I popped out from the lower area, but you can't actually move the rock once you get it in there, so I had to reload. So whatever. But yeah, I, the only advantage I can see to actually doing these live as opposed to this post stuff is 
Obviously, if you want a longer video, then that's fine. I know there's debating opinions on that. Some don't like them to be super long. Some probably do. The long ones tend to have me ramble about nothing, which can be interesting depending on my mood. Whereas this one, I'm just like, okay, where's the part where I do this? That's pretty much it, but it, it'll get better. It's just this first part's kind of slow. Also, I like when the background freaks out for no reason. I don't understand why it does that. Oh, and I have the I have the audio turned down really low right now, but uh, I'm just gonna say that pushing noise totally doesn't get annoying. That you hear you hear so freaking much of it in this level. It's kind of amazing. Anyway, here we have the final room of the, like, first half of the level, and it's kind of a big one, and it's also kind of a weird one. Um, this part here, I've never actually messed up on, but uh, you do only have one chance at it. If you didn't already see what you had to do, you'll see it in a second here after I get this cloud. But, uh, yeah, you have to activate this. That was a save. You couldn't see it because I was on the other screen. Um, but yeah, you have to do this, and then you have to manage to grab this vine before the rock falls down, because you might just be able to float over to that left ledge there. I, it looked like you might have been able to make that. I'm not sure. Also, fuck this flower. It is possible to dodge it, but only barely. Anyway, that was pretty much it for that room, except I missed a red, so, yeah. Um, now, here's one of the few parts in the stage where I'm actually going to be showing reloads and failures, because this part was really bizarre. Um, as you'll remember, I said that I missed a flower the first time through the stage. Um, it is actually in here. It is not immediately obvious that it is in here, though, so that was like... That was my original run-through. Here I pause to look at the guide, and I'm just kind of, like, in disbelief of what I've found. Because the guide says, like, if you push the rock as hard as you can, it will uncover a winged cloud, and that'll show you the flower. And I'm like, are you freaking serious that, like, I, I did that, and it didn't do anything. So I roll it again. It doesn't do anything. This is only showing a few of the attempts. I probably... Oh, okay. Okay, that was a good one to keep. Um, but yeah, I probably did this a good 20 times. It doesn't ever freaking show the cloud. But this time, I happened to fall with it, and it did show the cloud. So, no, the guide was wrong. You don't have to push the rock. In fact, I'm fairly sure pushing the rock will never actually uncover it. Instead, you just have to... Ha you either have to follow it and, like, fall on top of the rock and happen to touch it that way or just know that it's there. Either way, it's complete garbage, and it's on, not quite on par with the fly guy from that one level that only appeared when you, like, touched the right pixel of the stage, because I don't think anything could ever be worse than that, but uh, that was still pretty bad. But yeah, here, I, as you can see, I'm perfectly fine on stars. I just have to not lose them. This one, I'm actually not positive if you have to carry this through the whole stage, because when you get to the end, there is, like, a section that looks like it would be difficult but not impossible if you didn't have it. You'll obviously see when I get there. Also, I don't think I ever got hit by this fire bar. It's positioned in such a way that it looks really annoying and horrible to get past, but I guess I just always manage to time it well. I don't know. Pretty close there, though. So now we start getting into some of the uh, really weird. Oh God! F hold on, I forgot about this part. I thought this was uh, I thought this was something else. So you're gonna see a number of failures here too, because uh, I kept messing up in very creative ways. Now, one thing you don't see is me failing to get the rock all the way to the end because if you don't push it off that first ledge perfectly, it can get it can land too close to it, and then you won't have enough time to roll it all the way. But um, here is my most common failure. 
So I get it over here. There's a whole switch that you can do to do it a second time and all that stuff. And, um... Wait for it. Yeah. Oh, editing problems. Um... Luckily, I haven't closed freaking Camtasia yet. Okay, you won't be seeing the editing problems. I am currently looking at half a screen. But, uh... Anyway. Yeah, there goes. It fixed itself. I got lucky that first time. Uh, because these cactus balls... ...are really freaking annoying. <laughs> and, uh... The best way to deal with them is to just have full eggs so they don't shoot them in the first place. But yeah, list of things that can go wrong here. You can push the rock off the first ledge the wrong way and not be fast enough to get it all the way across. You can randomly run into the side of spikes because they're everywhere and you die instantly from them. I kind of feel like maybe the designer should have not done that. Just, just maybe. Like, that, that, that's kind of bullshit. Um, you can get hit by the cactus balls. I don't know, just, th this section sucks. It, it shouldn't be as hard as it is, but I don't know, something's just not right about it. But anyway, I have to make another trip down here. Luckily, you have enough time to, uh... I mean, it wouldn't have been bad if I had to use a red egg, but, eh, if I can help it, I try not to. And here I'm trying to be as careful as possible to not run off the left side of that. Like, you're so tempted to, because you have to push the rock from the left. So it's like, oh, I'm gonna drop off the left side of the platform. Nope, spikes, dead. Like, that just, that feels like a rookie mistake. Like, not even for the player, just for game design. Like, it's the kind of thing that if you had playtested the level, you probably would have noticed that that was a problem. And, ugh, that looked ugly. Um, like, they probably made a decision to not remove it because they were dicks, is what I'm thinking. So here's kind of a funky part. You can tell what you're supposed to do here to pound these in in order to get it across the bridge. Um, but the funky thing is, if you pound them in all the way, you actually can't get up to this top platform because there's not a high enough, like, section to jump off of. So you pretty much have to do it the way that I just did, I'm pretty sure. You stop it over here while the bridge reforms. Now you can pound this one in. And redo the whole thing. And, um, speaking of game designers being dicks. You'll see it in a second here. I actually did think to do this my first time through. This wasn't something that I had to look at the guide for. But yeah, whenever there is a stump, you must pound it in. Even if it involves weird backtracking in a section that you wouldn't really normally think you had to. But yeah, I was actually kind of proud of myself for figuring that out. Alright, so here's what I meant about, uh, you might not need the rock, because all it does is it makes these, uh, red blocks appear, but I'm pretty sure with proper fluttering you can get past this, because you can bounce off these ghosts, and then, like, land on the rock there, but then you probably wouldn't be able to get that flower, not easily at least. So here's the last section of the level, um, you get to do this a lot. And, uh, while doing it, you get to constantly have these cactus fuckers shooting at you. I try my best to keep disabling them, but the camera sucks just enough so that you can't actually ever, like, see them properly. So it's like, it, 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 after a while, it just, it's not even worth it. You might as well just go two inches, wait for it to shoot, avoid, go two inches, etc. Problem is, now that I've gotten this far and the camera refuses to scroll, uh, I have a second one shooting at me. And, um, let it be known, the first time I got to this part of the stage, I, uh, I was down about six stars or so, and after having collected all these coins, getting the final red coin in the process, seeing that I was missing a flower, I figured, like, you can't really see it, but there's a second path 
under this top one, which is why I'm pretty sure that you don't have to activate the red blocks. Um, there's a second path with a bunch of those cloud enemies, and um, I was trying to hit them with red eggs to get the stars back, because I thought the star might also be down there, or I mean the flower. It wasn't, so yeah, it, 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 whatever. So that's the stage. Like I said, could have been worse, but it wasn't the easiest stage I've ever played. And there we go. Now this next one, on the other hand, this is the real deal. Um, I want to point out at the very beginning here, look at the bottom of the screen. There's lava rising. That's the one time you'll ever see that, because I basically bum rush this stage and don't accept any slow movement. Um, but yeah, that can very easily be a problem, and it is probably the number one reason why you'll fail this stage. But, um, yeah, right there, like, I, I can't even commentate over most of this. Also, I don't know what caused that little lag there, but that just kind of happened while playing. Um, there's a lot of little tricks I do, like bouncing off of that shy guy instead of waiting for the platform, stuff like that. It, it, you're probably going to have to watch this more than once to see everything that happened, honestly, because this, like, ev every frame is so packed, or whatever the hell George Lucas said, I don't know. It, this, this is really, really inexcusably bad level. Um, I got those two extra stars there thinking they might help. They really didn't, because um, throughout this entire playthrough... I kept saying, there's going to be a level somewhere that has the exact number of stars you need and no more, and I need to be prepared. This is that level. So not only is it really condensed and on a timer and very precise in what you have to do in a lot of the sections, but you also have absolutely no wiggle room for messing up the stars, unless you come in with a whole bunch of red eggs and use them, like, right at the beginning of the stage. Um... And the funny thing is, even with that, you still might not have enough. Um, we'll kind of see that at the end. But, uh, yeah, what you're seeing now is the perfect run, like, just only showing the save states that were successful. This was cut down from about 30 minutes. Um, if I had been doing it live and actually trying to like, coherently commentate while doing it, it would have been quite a bit longer than 30 minutes, I'm assuming. Plus, I was using a guide, so I knew exactly what coins I had to get, what clouds were worth shooting, all that kind of stuff. Like, I can fully understand why they said this is the hardest level in the game, and I really hope that it actually is, because my god. So right there, that's a cloud of five stars. If you don't collect them all exactly like I did, they're going to fall down and you won't get them all. Same thing for the one on the left. This bird here is impossible to get up with. That section there alone took like 10 minutes. And then by the time you get up here, here's the last cloud that gives you stars in the stage. Um, if any of them go off screen, which, trust me, they will, then you're fucked. This is so bad. Like... I don't even need to tell you that. Like, you can see how bad this is, but I make it look easy because it's all done in one run. So, like I said, you'll probably want to go back and, like, rewatch that just to see how bullshit it was. But, yeah, that, that was really, really awful. Also, at some point during the save states, the top screen started displaying what buttons were being pressed, and I don't know why, but whatever. So that's World 1. Um... Just gonna kind of sit on blackness here for a second because I'm trying to think if I have any closing thoughts on that. Um, I'm like half tempted to include the raw footage of me reloading states and that, but it's it, it wouldn't be interesting. Like the only problem I'm having is I didn't do that level justice. Like showing the final product does not indicate whatsoever how much of a nightmare that was, but. Uh, you can probably figure it out just by seeing how, like, annoying looking it was. And, um, I cannot 
again, I've said this four million times in this playthrough already, but I cannot imagine doing that on console. If it was just the lava and having to be fast, then maybe. But it's that plus the fact that you have to get every star from every cloud when they can very easily bounce out of range or go off screen. And there's nothing you can do about it if that happens. That is absolutely Kaizo level, and there's really no excuse for it. But next time, World 2, hopefully will be better. <laughs>